What's up, YouTubers? Hey, um, so I wanted to make a video about this because I couldn't find much information on YouTube about it. Um, but I was uh, driving my truck the other day, going to a uh, dumpster here by the by the house, throw some trash away, and uh, when I got in the truck and took off, hit a small um transition in the road to go from asphalt to grass and a little bit of a bump there um and as soon as i hit that bump uh, my vehicle died couldn't get it to restart uh long story short i went to um advanced auto got a scanner scanned it for codes uh came back with a p2004 which is your uh, intake manifold runner control valve on uh, the passenger side bank one passenger side closed now what that means is there's a series of butterfly valves um, down in your lower intake you can see one right there right through that port there just like on an old carburetor but each port has its own uh, valve. And there's there's a, a series that runs this way for these three, and then there's a row that runs that way for those three. And uh, this back here, the thing with the two metal linkages going to it, that is your intake manifold runner control valve. Um, the IMRC, IMRC valve. Um, it's just a motor. It's got a um, connector going into it from the wiring harness. The computer controls the air to fuel mixture by this valve right here. And there's a linkage going to the passenger side, linkage going to the um, driver's side. And um, what had happened is when I hit that bump, you see that lower rod, that lower linkage, that one came off on the intake side. So um, that's the issue I'm having. It detected that that, that valve wasn't um, working, that side, and it shut basically shut the engine off. It would uh, the starter would turn, but it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything. So I'm waiting on that part to get in. I've also ordered some new plastic bushings. You see those plastic bushings? I ordered two of those because the new IMRC valve has the uh, bushings on this side. So I ordered two new ones for the intake manifold side of the rods. So uh, anyway, I'm waiting on those to get here, but I just wanted to show you that's where the IMRC valve is located on an 08 4.2 liter V6. That's what it looks like. It's got a, a bracket that is held on with three bolts uh, to the back of the lower intake manifold. Now, the upper wasn't too bad to get off really of course I had to take the intake off the fuel filter housing um, a set of hoses you've got one one here two uh, and then on the back you've got three four five six so you've got six hoses you got to take off. You've got the wiring harness that, that secures to this. It's secured here, 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 and here. So four places for the wiring harness to be disconnected. You've got this dude, which is this. Don't even know what it is, but there it is. Um, it probably took a couple hours to get the upper intake off, but you've got four bolts on the passenger side and these are captive they do not come out 
just make sure that you get them all the way out. And then on the driver's side, you also have four bolts. So it's not too bad. Like I said, a couple hours. You'll need a number eight metric and a number 10, I think. A pair of pliers, that's pretty much it. Pretty much all you need. So this motor's got 226,000 miles on it, uh, but the engine runs great. So anyway, um, I may make another video after I get my new valve in with the little plastic bushings and uh, have a uh, startup, see how she does. So, but anyway, hope this is helpful. Peace.